This is a perfect spot for the corner garage. It's gonna look great here. I thought this was a perfect spot for the corner garage. It fits right behind the posh shopping plaza in front of it. And I think it's perfect on this side of the city because way down the other side of the city is a nice pet shop. And what I didn't mention is this is not only the corner garage, but the second floor has a veterinary shop. And I think what's really cool is the doorknob of the stairs right there is a little paw print on the doorknob, which I thought was a nice little touch. Maybe we can get a little closer for that. But we're gonna do some details, talk about the inside of the corner garage. There's a little bit, there's two more floors to be built. But I was so excited to see how it's gonna fit in the city. I wanted to share it with you. Here's the inside of the corner garage. There is a car lift. And what I really thought was cool is I wasn't sure what I was building, but that little guy down there standing at a tire balancer. So they have some nice thought going into this thing. Tire balancer, there's some money there with a register behind him with some oil cans. There's also a red craftsman type tool chest. Um, a cool technique of building that with some 1x2 one one plates with a little handle, like what you call it on the side, I'm not sure what they call it, but really cool. In front of the store here, again, this is far from being finished, I'm only on bag 2. However, I just thought right now, even with the front facing of this building, it's really cool looking. I like the windows, the way they were done, and the little details, and you can see in the window they're showing that they have tires for sale, there's some red and blue and green I don't know if those are oil cans or what that is over there but there's something for sale there as well get some details over here with some tire rims on the wall and what's really cool is the way the garage door goes up one third of the corner garage finished I hope to finish the next two floors in the next couple days or the next week or so that I can put it in the city and see how it looks next to the posh shop there that was called shop I just rearranged the letters I don't want every city to be the same, so it says posh right now, maybe I'll come up with a better name for it and make my own word there to figure that out. It gets a little tricky with those little teeny letters, but it was a really fun build so far. I'm excited about it, can't wait to finish it, and I hope you stay tuned and watch it come together and see it going to Brick Island, because the city's coming along, I'm glad you guys are watching, I love all the comments and feedback, we will let you know where the haunted house is going at some point soon. I got lefts and rights all over the place and a couple other suggestions, so we'll work on that. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and Twitter at Built From Bricks, as well as our monthly live stream, which is the third Thursday of each month, which happens to be on Valentine's Day this year. So I hope to see you there watching us build something or a speed challenge. Not sure what we're doing yet. We will have something figured out by then. It should be a fun time. I enjoyed all of you in there last week. Thanks for watching. What have you built today? It's a door going up and now... That's not the noise it would really make, but... What can we do without the noise? Sorry. Clap, please. Just because you make that noise doesn't mean I'm going to put it in every time. I didn't think you were. I'm just, <laughs> I make the noise anyway. Stop making me... Stop. <laughs>